Sarah had a huge personality. She filled the room. She had this beautiful, long, blonde hair. It was gorgeous. She was so pretty. She had striking blue eyes, perfect skin. Uh, she was very strong, very self-confident. This is not somebody who's sitting in a corner. This is not somebody who's afraid to say anything. Smart, friendly, very popular. Well, she was a woman of many, many talents. She was as strong as can be, very, very capable. She played hard and she worked hard. She always had the news and always had the gossip and she wasn't afraid to share it. And I think that she um, came across in a very demonstrative way, but that's what you expect from a journalist that was probing to find the true answers and to hold the truth to a high ideal and the truth mattered to her. She was also very outspoken and I think sometimes her outspokenness um, got her in trouble. Her, her anger can set people, could set people off. It made some people, you know, not want to be with her. But on the other hand, other people thought she was the most incredible person they'd ever seen. She had many sides to her. It was early in the morning, um, and I had the police scanner on, and they called out a, a house fire on Dunvegan Drive. In that amount of time, just in the car, um, the story changed pretty dramatically. A Monday morning fire in Upperville killed one woman, a newspaper reporter in Winchester. At about 8.08 .08 a.m., an off-duty Fairfax firefighter called 911, seeing smoke rising from a house at 1200 Dunvegan Drive. After the flames cleared, Firefighters found a body in the bedroom. Sheriff's deputies confirmed the victim's identity Tuesday as Sarah Libby Greenhall, 48. And I, I drove back to the office, um, and I came into uh, you know, the entrance here, uh, and I said, does anyone here know the name Sarah Greenhall? And everyone's faces lit up, and they said, oh yeah, yeah, she used to work here. My heart dropped into my shoes because uh, I had to be the one to say she died in a fire. Well, I was, I just was in shock. I, I didn't, I couldn't believe it. I mean, you just, you can't imagine why she would be dead unless she had a car crash or something like that. I mean, there would just be no other way. Shocked. We were all just shocked. Uh, it was a heinous crime against nature and one that could not be erased, not for then, not now, until justice is found. I remember going to her funeral. The church was packed. It was up at uh, Trinity Church in Upperville, and it was packed. At the funeral, um, her, her friends and family called on reporters. They called her tribe to not forget this and to try and learn as much as we could definitely felt that pressure. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't too long before the amount of facts we were able to find uh, just ran out. Well, I think um, it's not hard now. I, I think I, I've gotten, you know, pretty well into it and, and lived with it, and I think about it all the time. But um, it, I just think of all the things that, um, that had I been a better parent, that had I raised her to to not have this, I don't know where she got this, I'm going to take these chances, I don't know where she got that. But I don't spend any time thinking about whoever he is. I just don't, I just think about how it could have been, what, what a loss it is for her, for everything, for everybody that loved her and wanted her, that she had such promise and to have it taken away like that. Losing somebody of her ability uh, will be a hard vacuum to fill. This is a horrible thing to have unresolved in a family's life. And I don't know, I don't know any of what this must feel like. Uh, I just wish that I had more that I could share with them. I, I wish there was more I could do to help. Never, 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 ever give up. She was very persistent, and um, she knew 
that there was always more to find out and that um, I don't know of anybody that was more resilient or um, more um, uh, tenacious in her ability to hold the truth to a high ideal. And that was the most important thing to her and nothing that would stand in her way to get it. I miss her. I think about her all the time. I don't think there's a, a hardly an hour that goes by I don't think about her. She certainly did um, make a name for herself, and and people who met her remembered her, and she she just um, she's just very missed.